Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Sarah Paulson and longtime partner Holland Taylor looked smitten as they attended the 2024 Tony Awards in NYC on Sunday. Paulson, 49, who has been in a relationship with Taylor, 81, since 2015, held her love's hand as they hit the glitzy red carpet, with Paulson nominated in the Best Lead Actress in a Play for Appropriate. The American Horror Story star stunned in a black and white floral print sequined gown with delicate satin bows on the shoulders. Her blonde bob was styled in soft waves and she sported a pop of red lipstick. Taylor looked chic in a high-necked black dress with a silver handbag. The 77th Tony Awards take place at Lincoln Center's David H. Koch Theater in New York City. The event will be hosted by Ariana DeBose who had previously been nominated in the Best Featured Actress in a Musical category for Summer, the Donna Summer Musical. The 32-year-old Wilmington, North Carolina native also also won an Oscar for Steven Spielberg's movie adaptation of the Broadway classic West Side Story. Angelina Jolie will be hitting the stage as she leads the star-studded presenters list. The 49-year-old A-lister will be the top name bestowing honors on Broadway's biggest night on Sunday as nominations were announced back in April. She is not the only big name hitting the stage as other presenters include Taraji P. Henson, Jennifer Hudson, Jeffrey Wright, Patrick Wilson, and Nick Jonas will also have important duties. In addition Adina Menzel, Utkar Shambudkar, Nate Burleson, Cynthia Erivo, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Josh Gad, Renee Elise Goldsberry, and Sean Hayes will also be presenting. Rounding out the list are Ashley Park, Jim Parsons, Wendell Pierce, Ben Platt, Anthony Ramos, Andrew Rannells, Solomon Thomas, Taylor Tomlinson, Pete Townsend, Tamara Tooney, and Adrian Warren. Jolie definitely has a lot of interest in this year's ceremony as she serves as producer of The Outsiders Musical which is up for a whopping 12 awards including the coveted top honor Best Musical. The Tony Awards 2024 nominations were announced in April with big names including Rachel McAdams, the Alicia Keys musical, Daniel Radcliffe recognized. The Christopher Diaz musical Hell's Kitchen and David Ajmi drama Stereophonic led the way with most nods as they tied for 13 with the aforementioned Jolie's The Outsiders coming in third for nominations with 12. One of the nominees for Best Musical is Hell's Kitchen a jukebox musical featuring songs by Alicia and loosely based on her life. Hell's Kitchen was the most nominated musical, with 13 nods a feat equaled this year only by the straight play stereophonic about a 1970s rock band. The other best musical nominees include Suffs, a show about the suffragettes that has Hillary Clinton and Malala Yousafzai among its producers. Illinois, a jukebox musical of Sufjan Stevens' work, and The Outsider, based on the classic young adult novel of the same name, are also up for the top prize. The Best Musical nominations were rounded out by Water for Elephants, an adaptation of the best-selling novel that was previously made into a movie starring Robert Pattinson and Reese Witherspoon. Notable snubs for Best Musical included the Britney Spears show Once Upon a One More Time, the as well as the adaptations of the classic movies Back to the Future, The Notebook and Days of Wine and Roses. Rachel McAdams was nominated for Best Lead Actress in a play in honor of her work in Mary Jane, starring her as the mother of a son with cerebral palsy. She is up against Sarah Paulson for Appropriate, a dark comedy about three siblings feuding over their father's estate after his death. Jessica Lang is up for Mother Play, playing the mother of teens portrayed by Tony winner Celia Keenan-Bolger and the Big Bang Theory star Jim Parsons. The category includes Betsy Adam in Prayer for the French Republic, a dark comedy by Joshua Harmon about mounting anti-Semitism in France. Rachel's category is rounded out by Amy Ryan for the lead role in John Patrick Shanley's classic drama Doubt, A Parable, which was made into an acclaimed movie starring Meryl Streep, Amy Adams, Philip Seymour Hoffman and Viola Davis. Liev Schreiber is nominated for Best Lead Actor in a play for Doubt, A Parable, playing the role of the priest accused of molesting a young boy. He is up against a formidable group of thespians, including Succession star Jeremy Strong in A.